Awesome. Moving right along. Let's get into this one. Now, we have a yeah. very special person to thank for suggesting this song. Right. Mr. Dave Grohl. Yeah. Of the Foo Fighters. I would imagine that, right? Listen, uh, I saw a social media post where Dave was saying he's a huge fan of AM Gold. Yeah. Right. That AM, I believe. AM yeah. Gold Radio. And yeah. he said, you know, um, you need to do this song by Andy Gold. Yeah. Is that his name? Andy Gold. Yeah. Andrew Gold. Too. Andrew yeah. Gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, not, not the song that everybody knows by Andrew Gold. Yes. Which is escaping me right Thank now. Thank you for being a friend from Golden Thank Girls. You. Right. <laughs> but he's like, you need to do this song, Never Let Her Slip Away. And he was mentioning this to a, 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 another Yacht Rock band. And we got to be honest. We were like, we can do that song. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We're going to do that song. And um, so we have a we have a, a really great relationship with uh, with Butch Vig, the, the producer uh masterful producer garbage was his main band or garbage and i mean he produced nirvana's nevermind album he's a legendary producer absolutely and he's from our home state of wisconsin and i used to work at his his recording studio back in the day in madison called smart studios never met him back then because he was doing some just larger than life things and was we weren't in the in the studio when he and garbage were in the studio but clay our saxophonist uh is has played in a number of bands with the three principals of garbage for years. Cause Clay's uh, from uh, originally from Milwaukee, but, but made his impact in the Madison music scene uh, and knows Butch very well. So we initially reached out to see if Butch would produce this song. Right. And I remember kind of catching Butch at a time that it just didn't make sense for him time wise to do it. So we said, let's do it anyways. Yeah. Uh, and we haven't sent it to him yet. We're we're waiting till it's mastered, so <laughs> Butch can can hear it. My my ultimate hope is that you know we can get it to uh, Dave Grohl and just uh, see what you know. It'd be great to hear if Dave would. would well, uh, he's the one who wanted to, to hear it, it right? so yeah. yeah. But this is such a quirky song too, and we decided to not avoid the quirk of it. We weren't yep. going to try and quote smarten it up because it was kind of a silly little ditty. We just thought, well, let's embrace that and let's yeah. just do our sound to that. And, you know, it. we'll get to it in, in a later song, but I think by having this sort of quirky nod on there allowed the album, again, to stretch its parameters a little bit. Again. Absolutely. And so I think we'll get to why that's useful. Fun song to sing background vocals on, too. I, I bet, know. yeah. Danny killed this song also. He just, Danny sings the lead vocal on this and just killed it. 